It was the celebration before the reunion. The staff at Trinity Lutheran School and Child Care Center have been plotting for days. It takes a lot of people to pull off the perfect soldier surprise. This is my sec uh, second deployment with the National Guard, and for me, it, it's butterflies and nerves, just because I haven't seen them except on the computer screen for nine or ten months. Is why Courtney Eaton has been working behind the scenes to create a homecoming like none other. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> um, we're also going to see um, our nieces and our nephew as well. Um, so I'm just super excited that, that he's home and that we can surprise the kids this way. Sergeant Nathan Eaton just returned from Kuwait with the Delaware Army National Guard's 238th Aviation Support Unit. It was a hero's welcome for the husband, father, and uncle who came to Joppa to surprise his three-year-old daughter, Savannah, along with his two nieces and a nephew. Hi, son. Oh! <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hi, I miss you, too. After Shauna, he visited Emily and Ethan, and then off to an unsuspecting Savannah in the middle of a sing-along. It's been nine months since he left, but there was no forgetting her father's face. Her classmates were even excited. Yay! Next stop, Bel Air. Ring Factory Elementary. Time to surprise 10-year-old Tyler. He didn't see this coming. Hi, Tyler. Just watch. There's really no words to describe it. <laughs> Lots of tears and hugs. Safe to say, mission accomplished. Glad to be back. <laughs> I get to now be able to spend some time with the kids, be able to play with them. I just can't believe how big they've both gotten. <laughs> Truly amazing. My name is Master Sergeant David Sims, U.S. Air Force. I just come home from a six-month deployment in Afghanistan, and I'm here today with the Atlanta Braves to surprise my family. I'm very excited. I'm very nervous. Uh, my family doesn't know what's going on, and so I'm looking forward to seeing the expressions of surprise on their faces. This is Master Sergeant David Sims, U.S. Air Force, assigned to headquarters ISAF in Kabul, Afghanistan. I want to send out my greetings to all my family there, especially to my wife, Robin, and my kids. I love you all so much, and I miss you. I hope you're having a good time there with the Atlanta Braves. I can't wait to be with you again. In fact, wait one minute. This is the last time Taylor, this yellow lab, will ever be in a military kennel. The men called her Tay Tay or Princess Taylor, and she served her country all her life. Two deployments in Afghanistan and so effective at saving American lives, the Taliban had a bounty on her head. When dogs like Taylor complete their service, they're usually put up for adoption. The soldiers they served with are often given first priority, but reunions aren't always that easy and can cost thousands of dollars. Hey, welcome aboard. Nice That's where Molly Oliver comes in. Good girl, this is your seat. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> She's a veteran flight attendant for United, but her real passion, reuniting service dogs and their handlers. I love the dogs. And I love my military that's taken care of my freedom my whole life. So it's a win-win to combine the two. She's done it now four times at her own expense, flying dogs home to the men who love them most. And today is Tay-Tay's big day, even sitting in first class. Where's Danny? We're going to go find him. Oh, we're going to go find him. While at the Boise airport, a nervous soldier waits. 
it's like a part of me has been missing. And, you know, getting her back now, it, it'll make me whole again. In Afghanistan, Sergeant Tom Hansen protected her in firefights. Tay Tay found bombs hidden beneath his feet. Now, after two years apart, Tay Tay is finally coming home. Tay Tay! Tay Tay! Tay Tay! Tay -tay. Hey, Taylor. Soldier and best friend reunited. Thank you so much. For a civilian life on American soil. It's my girl. Gotti Schwartz, NBC. Come eat. We have some more special people. Enjoy it, and I'll go back for another five months. Yeah, but it will be good to have him home. <laughs> the thing I missed the most was, uh, you know, the everyday, everyday things that most people take for granted. Just, you know, taking your kids to school, um, kissing them goodnight when they go to bed. You know, the, the little things, spending time watching cartoons with them in the morning. We're looking forward to just spending some time, making some more memories before I go back. It honestly was unbelievable. The best feeling. I'm so happy for Jasmine. She's the sweetest little girl and I knew how much she missed her dad so it was really, really special to be able to be a part of it. I am nervous. I feel like I'm about to pass out. Major Laura Bird is hiding backstage in the auditorium at her daughter's school. She arrived back in South Carolina from her deployment yesterday, but Deja believes her mom is still in Kuwait. I talked to her this morning, so she has no idea that I'm actually here. I'm a single parent. I had no one to greet me at the airport, but this has worked at all. The surprise to her. Deja thinks she's attending a military forum, but it's part of the surprise orchestrated by the school. When the next speaker enters the stage, <laughs> the surprise is revealed. She's been asking me when I'm coming home. I said, I'll be home before my birthday. My tears were busting up. I was, I was crying. And I felt so happy because my mom finally home. When I left, she was 14, and now she's 15, talking about she wants to get her permit and drive. Woo! You made me cry for the whole <laughs> It's just, I had a couple mommy moments been away. She missed my birthday and Christmas and all the good holidays, and those are the most important holidays ever. I just didn't want to miss her birthday because it didn't work. I didn't want her to, um, over there during her birthday. And that's a day Deja won't be missing. I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> she reunited with her mom two weeks before her birthday. They've been apart since last <laughs> August. In Sumter, Ivory Hecker, Watch Fox News. Anticipation to see him. I haven't seen him in a year. It's just
Okay. Yeah. Right. Go ahead and say hey to Dietra. Go and get Dietra hooked. just cheering for the kindergarten parade and then that's when I saw my daddy walk through the door. At first I didn't believe it but then as he got closer I dropped the sticks and I ran to him and hugged him. Get 